Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to Heart Driven Tarot for this week's five minute tarot advice. I hope you are all doing well and have had a fantastic weekend. It's been a bit like summer here in Charleston, South Carolina, where I've been living about the past 18 months or yeah, something like 18 months since I moved from Washington, DC. I will be putting out some videos just providing you with a few more details on what has been going on and why there was this big hiatus, but I don't want to belabor that now. Let's jump into the reading for three, three cards, three card advice. We'll keep this as brief as possible. All right, the first card, oh gee. <laughs> The Ten of Swords reversed. Now, when upright, the Ten of Cards is often, it's a card I don't like seeing, and that's why I say, oh geez, when I turn it over. It, but it, one good thing about it, even though you see this individual who's stabbed in the back with, ah, what's, it reminds me of that Psycho movie, thinking that music comes to mind, looks completely depleted, defeated, etc. A dark night of the soul but it is a 10 meaning that situation has come to an end and swords of course relate to thoughts thinking the thinking realm so it suggests a situation that has been troubling particularly from the mental perspective given that if this is reversed I would say that the advice presented to you this week is that Perhaps you've been stewing way too long about a past situation. I know I can tell you, I'll admit to you, I have. I still had some trouble letting go of a past relationship, but I think I'm on the way to that. But this suggests that it's time to release that. You've been holding on to it, holding on to whatever troubling situation it may be, and now this week is the time to finally let it go. Let it out of your consciousness. This is important. We need to move on from these situations. We acknowledge them, we need to feel the feelings, but then there's a point that we've got to let it go. That's what I feel is the advice from the Ten of Swords reversed. Next card, another reversal and another card of seeming strife and turmoil when the, it's the Five of Wands. When the Five of Wands is reversed as rather upright, it's a situation it's presenting this image we see they almost look like teenagers are having what appears to be almost play acting a battle of sorts. What always jumps out at me that other people don't mention, I haven't heard other tarot readers mention this, but there, we see this one individual and he's coming through triumphantly, suggesting that he's going to prevail over everyone in this seeming battle. Now, given that it's reversed, wow, it's seeming to echo this 10 of swords that we just looked at. It is suggesting that, from my perspective intuitively, that you have been stewing over something, maybe some internal conflicts, I would say. The fire, the uh, wands are the fire energy that represent that purpose and passion in life. And because we see this seeming turmoil, it's suggesting that you've been stewing over a lot of things and of co you're conflicted about how you feel about some things and maybe what direction you want to go in. I certainly again have been experiencing that in terms of my business. It's saying, I believe this tarot card, Five of Wands Reverse, is advising you to again let it go. Get clarity, take some time to chill out and focus on what's most important to you and focus solely on that. And then finally, Oh my goodness, all reversals. Let me just check. Yeah, these are balanced, so it's no acts. It's not that I had the cards all reversed when I'm, they were shuffled. Now we have the five of coins or five of pentacles reversed. So we've got two fives in here. Fives are the number of, can be the number of conflict, the number of instability. That's the word I was looking for. And of course the coins and pentacles refer to the material realm, resources, money, etc., energy. And 
I feel that the five of cups, uh, five of cups, five of coins or pentacles reversed is suggesting again, echoing what these other cards have said. Now is the time to release your feelings of being impoverished, of feeling less than, of feeling lack in some area or in the material material realm of your life. That that's really is what's being called to your attention, and that turn within tap into because when we when this is upright we see there's this window at the church tap into connection with spirit that will be the source of your supply that is the ultimate source of everything in short this is a week of time to turning within letting go of things that you've been stewing about and tapping into spirit so that you can move forward with vigor, with optimism. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And do I will alert you that next week, hopefully <laughs> get the, over these tech issues, I will have my website live and you can go there directly if you would like a private reading. Until next time, have a wonderful week.